This one is not one of the categories that's on Khan Academy, but you guys need to learn it. So this is the essential clause, okay? And as always, we're getting the questions from the SATCrashCourse.com. Use this code, studyj, get your 20% discount. All caps, guys, all caps, okay. So Khan Academy and College Board has done a very questionable thing of putting all of the grammar and writing into two categories, form, structure, and sense, and the other one, boundaries, okay? These are not the most helpful categories, okay? So this one is not really clear what this would fit under. However, they're still using this prompt as a question on the real test, so you guys have to learn it, okay? So like I said, essential clause. Is that, would that be a boundary or would that be a form structure and sense? Those terms are so vague. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they put it in either category, okay? But for you guys, it's essential clause. That's what we're doing, okay? So this is a thing. What does essential clause mean, right? How can I decide if this information essential or non-essential? Okay, so there are two ways you can do this, okay? So the main point here, this stuff doesn't matter. Okay, so it's the scientists. And then we have some info, okay? And look at the answer choices here. We have A and B. You see how A and B, we have comma, comma, or we have dash, dash, right? That lets me know automatically that those are both out, okay? Out, out. Why? Because for college purposes, purposes, porpoises are like dolphin creatures, purposes, comma, comma, and dash, dash, both mean it's a non-essential clause. That means you take it out, okay? However, there is no difference between using two commas and using two dashes. That means A and B are the same answer. Then they're wrong, right? Because if A is correct and B is correct, can you have two correct answers in the SAT? Of course not, okay? So I don't actually have to decide whether this is essential clause or non-essential clause. I just know, well, A and B are the same answer, it's out, okay? Then you can C and D. So this is the least amount of thinking, guys, okay? So I recognize A and B are the same answer. So my options are either you put so the essential clause, non-essential clause, you can think about it like this, okay? So the scientists, I'll write it in the bottom again, just for more room. Okay, I'm going to ignore the spelling here, okay? Parentheses info is the non-essential clause. So that means I put a comma here, comma here, or a dash here, or a dash here. Or you put nothing, okay? Those are the two options, okay? You either put a comma on each side, a dash on each side, or you put nothing. Okay, look at answer choice C. What is that? What is that halfway, of w halfway way of doing things? You can't just put a comma on one side. That's not a thing. So my answer here is D. Did you have to decide why this is good information? Why this is essential information? No, you did not. Okay, so the answer here is D. Now, why is this um, essential information? The essential information for college board test, SAT, is going to be like this. The essential information is when it is identifying information. When is information that lets us know who are you talking about? Because if you just say the scientists offered, who are those guys? I don't know, right? Because we didn't mention scientists before. So the stuff I said we didn't need, because if I used my method, we could have just answered it, right? But if you want to actually go into the grammar portion of it, I never mentioned any scientists in the previous sentence. So I don't know who these guys are, right? So if I'm introducing people, I need to tell you who they are, okay? So that's why this information is essential. And that's why the answer here is D. If you truly want to learn the grammar, which I think you guys should do for real life, for digital SAT though, just use what I did, okay? Either pick the one with two commas and the rest are wrong, or you pick the one with no commas. Those are the options, right? Okay, and that's it for uh, today's Quick and Dirty. This was the non-essential versus essential clause. This trick will work like 90% of the time. If you guys have a question in which, oh, Jay, this trick didn't work because I actually had to choose between essential and non-essential, please send me a screenshot of the question so I can answer for you, okay? Um, thank you guys for watching. Study every day with Sex Jay. That's the best way. Bye-bye.